You know, for the past decade, there's been a surge in sexually transmitted infections locally and across the United States. But for some high risk communities, a certain antibiotic could help to prevent certain infections. That's, in fact, based on early research, and now it's available in San Francisco. KPX 5's Sean Chitness has more on how providers have found a new use for an old drug. I've always wanted to live in the Bay, so I figured, why not? Christopher Artelejo Price loves spending time in the Castro neighborhood. It's helped make the Bay Area feel like home. I really fell in love with San Francisco and the diversity of community that it has. Um, no other city is like this. It's, yeah, I have a deep love for the city now. And caring for that community means hearing the warnings of a public health crisis. He's grateful a new use for the medication doxycycline could help prevent sexually transmitted infections. We just have another tool in our arsenal to take care of ourselves. That new tool is doxypep, a different way of using the antibiotic to treat STIs before someone tests positive for an infection. I'm just going to take these two extra pills today and know that I'm keeping myself healthy as possible, as well as the other members within my community. Researchers tested the strategy in men who have sex with men and transgender women living with HIV or taking PrEP. Preliminary results found taking the antibiotic within 72 hours of unprotected sex significantly reduced STIs like syphilis, gonorrhea, and chlamydia by more than half. The CDC is reviewing the data, but the new use for the medication is already available off-label in San Francisco. We believe that this is a good and effective strategy. Tyler Termier is the CEO of the San Francisco AIDS Foundation. His organization is providing the medication to clients who qualify. The use of doxypep as a new prevention strategy is really game-changing in the way that we can control new incidents of STI in our community. While researchers are looking into the potential for antibiotic resistance, Christopher has already requested doxypep and believes it can be part of a larger response to improve public health. It's my hope that as time passes, people start to see the benefit of it and really understand that this is for the greater good of the community. So right now, the San Francisco Department of Public Health is recommending doxypep for certain cisgendered men and trans women based on their partner and medical histories.